Hi, I'm Rachel and I'm going to be doing an activity that I used to do when I worked at primary school um, with my year five children. Um, it's suitable for primary children of all ages really, but mostly ages seven to 11. Um, it's an activity that is called balloon rockets. And for the activity, you need um, some string, just everyday string, um, you need a balloon. This is just a normal shaped balloon. Um, if you have a long balloon, it works a little bit better, but I only have this in my house, so I'm using this, this sort of balloon. You need some sort of sellotape or tape. Um, again, this kind of tape works, but so does normal sellotape. Uh, you also need a, um, a straw. Um, this is a plastic one I've had for ages. I know, know lots of people now only have the paper ones and they again will also work with this activity. And the other thing you need, but you don't, if you haven't got one of these, don't worry, is um, just a little peg or a paper clip. So for this activity, the first thing you need to do is get your straw and you need to thread the string through the straw. So, it's a little bit fiddly, but yeah, you can get an adult to help with this as well. So there, it's just there, the string is just on the straw and you can move it down like this. Okay, then the next thing you need to do, again, you might need help with this, or if you're lucky enough to have a balloon pump um, left over from birthday parties, then you can use that. Just blow up your balloon. So, when you have your balloon blown up, just turn it a few times to fasten it. And you're not going to tie a knot in the end like you normally would. But what you can do, you just pop your paper clip over the end like that. Okay, so it's it's still like a balloon. It's still got the air inside it, um, but you haven't tied it in a knot. You've just done it like that so that it can be let go of. Then you need to get your straw with your string, and you need to tape. using some of your tape. Just need to tape it on to the actual balloon. So I'm going to get three sections of tape and tape it on. There, one. So you've taped it on to your balloon like that. You've got the peg on and you've got the straw there. So now you need to um, either take two chairs, two quite strong chairs, or you could do it with another adult or a, um, another child who lives in your house with you. Okay, and I'm gonna get my chair and I'm gonna just put it over at one side get a second chair here and I'm going to take one end of the string and I'm going to fasten it to my chair. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to slide this back and I'm going to fasten this to my other chair. Okay, now I've started with a small distance because I don't have much space in my house, but if you have more space, um, you could ask an adult to set it up for you so you have a larger space to do this, which is, it makes it a bit more fun. Okay, so I've just fastened that there. Now, what I'm gonna do 
is make sure that this this string is quite tight okay so it's there's no bagging of the string like this it's really nice and tight okay and then I'm going to pull my balloon back and I'm going to in a minute release the paper clip from the end now this happens quite quickly and I'm fingers crossed it works first time so one two three okay and so my balloon has traveled across to the little track here from side to side um, using the push from the air that's been released so it's whizzed across so this activity is a really fun activity to do um, and I'm just going to come back a minute you can try it with um, different shaped balloons um, you can also try it with um, different amounts of of air pumped into the balloon so different sized balloons um, you can also if you'd like to try different kinds of straws different lengths different sizes or even different kinds of string to see if that makes a difference the science behind it is that the balloon has um, it has air that's been pumped into it so it's under pressure in the sealed balloon and when we let it go it provides a push that way so the balloon travels in the opposite direction so it's linked very much into forces also things like rockets and planes things that move or fly forward so it links really nicely to lots of real world activities so if you'd like to try it i suggest you ask a parent first and um, to make sure you have all the all the equipment you need but i I'm, i just found those things around my house um so the nothing special that you need um, and what you can do is you could do it with another adult or a child in your house and you could actually have balloon races see if you can get the balloon to travel um, the fastest over a certain distance so there's lots of science involved there and lots of um, lots of fun having a go at doing it um, if you if you have some really good designs for your balloon rockets then we'd love to see them as well so um, have fun with your balloon rockets and hopefully um, you can enjoy that STEM clubs activity.